I gotta wait for this all to happen so I can mic test this, because that fan might throw everything off. Pardon me a moment. Come on. Whenever you're done. Hey, you caught up. Hey, you caught up. Wow, that is horrendous. That is really, really horrendous. All right, let's do this shit. What the hell was I even doing? I need to find uh, ingredients for a missing transport. Oh, I really should go to a blacksmith first. What is my carrying weight currently at? Ooh, yeah, it's getting bad. World map. Where to? Where to? We will go to Midscope. Detour. Run, Geralt, run. Hello, spontaneous person. I apologize about the delay. I had some technical difficulties. And I am here. Now I need to go find a blacksmith. Which is not there. Which is... Ah. Oh, shut up, you bloody waggard. I don't even know what a waggard is, but you're a waggard. Oh, really? That's it? I just use it and enhance the stuff? Cool. I need a blacksmith. Why is there no blacksmith in this friggin' town? Where's the blacksmith? This is BS. No blacksmith in this town. Where's some other town options? So you don't need that. We're taking. Uh, let's see. No, not likely there. That's where all my boats are, though. Oh my god, there's so much junk to discover. Fine, we'll go over there. Gonna need the fucking homie for this. Come here, Roach. Get on your horse. That's like partially in the fucking wall. Really? Put it away. Let's ride. Where am I going? I gotta take this place. I was hanging. That was a bad show, keeping for me. Gallop, ye bugger. That is a whole lot of water. That is a bridge. Why is the bridge up? Seriously? Seriously? Do I have to pay the troll toll? Yeah, yeah. So 
to him quickly, Gar Geralt. Let's cross this friggin' stupid bridge. Come on, climb it. You can do it. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that, bandits. I have a feeling I'm gonna get in a fight. Hi, guys. Okay. I'll cross, but I'm not gonna pay you a broken copper. Broken's what your jaw will be once that cops are done with it. But mere, have it the thrifty fucker. Nope, that'll work. Oh wait. Yard and protective shield. Bam! Regretting that choice now, buddy. Dick. Now, let's set this thing down. Fucking idiots. Just idiots, man. Yeah, deal with it. I'll let the corpse eaters get you. Then I'm gonna run somewhere. What do you do? You do CSI? You know, it strikes me that this is very much like supernatural in medieval times with mutants. I should take my horse. Go around and check all these places of power and all that nonsense. Let's see, what it looks like I have to cross this really shoddy looking bridge. What do we got? Baron's henchman. Shh, Mariner. I want a plaid so peasant lass, I will. Don't give Cockman a ban. Don't give Cockman no ban. Right. About that. F. Wife of the Bloody Baron, presumed kidnapped. Daughter of the Bloody Baron, presumed kidnapped. Okay. I'm going to assume that they ran away from home because the Baron sounds like a wanker. What do we got? I need a blacksmith so I can sell some shit. Why is that kid sleeping on the floor? Yep, don't really just came in the night and started looking at your stuff. Oh look, a merchant. I can use a merchant. A merchant will work just fine. Hello. How goes? How are the volume levels? Like to take a look. Yeah, let me sell some junk. Ooh, that's a lot more damage. Excellent. I don't want to repeat a last time. Hmm. Yep, that can go away. Gone, 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 gone. This merchant's Poe. We got it. Oh, Gwent cards. Anything actually fucking useful here? Onions, bread. 
We could buy a bunch of water. Water's kind of expensive. You are expensive. Good, let me sell some more of this junk. Hunting boots. I'll keep my elegant stuff. I can go away, go away. Not staying. Gone. Gone. Definitely gone. God. I cleaned out the shopkeep. Buy some of these weightless cards. Sell some more junk. Yep. All right, let's sell. Nope, nope. Yep, that's gone. That can stay. I can go. Welcome to the most boring part of this game. I'm selling junk. And I ran him out of money. Again. Well, you have served your limited usefulness. See if there's an actual fucking blacksmith around here. Ooh, before I forget. Is there a compare button? 518 damage. Ooh, but that one has slots. Yeah, we can keep the one that has slots. Slots. Everywhere slots. Oh, that breeze is beautiful. It is way too hot today. Granted, running a computer and a PlayStation isn't helping. But hey. Runs. I guess let's go talk to the bloody friggin' Baron. Open doors. What's the temperature up for you? Is it like a million degrees Celsius? Okay. Baron home. Depends who's asking. A witcher. Wanna talk to him. And I wanna plow with the lovely Queen Cyril. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You brought us around. As I recall. You were to go Horse and butt. Way. It led me here. Gotta to talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. Hi, Snow Hi, Snow Foofle. Well, we are nobody. Open the gate. Sergeant. Ardle. Witcher to see the Baron. Don't want no disturbances. That clear. What do you think? Wow. It's like a reunion. Nothing here for you. Like a long lost friggin' Sergeant. pair of friends. Soldier. Ooh, a contract for a screecher. Your concern, Deserter. Temerian army don't exist. No. So what are you all doing here? Ah, another blacksmith. I'll talk to you in a second. Try to lead normal lives, or continue to resist, join the guerrillas, and fight for our beloved Tamaria until death do us part. We chose the four, and the Baron, your commander. Hmm. Yeah. I am well. Come on. Well enough. Just hot. Very, very hot. I think I want to stick my face in an ice bath. Hot. Oh my goodness, Sergeant, let's go.
Well, you are a snow foofle. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> oh! One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Enough. He's jolly. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Watch you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. That dude's got some armor. Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. It's no pouting for you. About our culture, the Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about <laughs> foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk oh. inside. He's a fat, fat bastard. Make yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. I just want one time for somebody to say, make yourself at home, ah, and for is. somebody to drop trowel. No thanks. Didn't come here to drink. <laughs> As you will. But I'll not sit here and dry if you don't mind. Before the war, there was a distillery nearby. Best in Velen. But a horse. Is he actually going to get any in the cup? To the matter at hand. You're on Windows, right, Snow? Now the blob tits round here call me the bloody baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Lovely place. Swamps. Are you running Bombs, windows? Marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here. Was damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. All right, what you're going to do is you are going to click on the little volume button, the one that looks like a speaker, and you're going to click mixer with your uh, Pokemon game up. And you're just going to drag the Pokemon game's volume down. And voila, you have changed its thing. What's that supposed to mean? That a threat? Boy, not as clever as I suspected you'd be. No, it's no threat. I'll spell it out for you. I know who you're looking for. She showed up some time ago. What? Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Of course. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Flashback. Hey. <laughs> Flashback loading screen. Just the night hog trying to eat its tail. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. Ow. That looks like it did sting. Crank it down. Lies and slander. the steel weapon. I have to play as this one? Oh man, I don't even know what she does. I became a full bore woman.
What? She has like a weird teleporting move? Fuck Garrett, give me this chick. You can come down. She's kinda cute. Hello there. Are you lost? A little I guess. Are you? I never lose my way. Ooh. If that's true, what are you doing so deep in the forest? Looking for lost little girls. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. Why don't you tell me where you live? In Lindenby. They'd see to your wounds there. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. Hmm. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. Reasonable. Your father. Why did he have you follow the trail of treats? Do you know? Because we had nap to break our fast with. I don't understand. They had no food. It's naughty. Broke a jug. Spilled all my milk. Your parents must have been angry. Mother said I should be spanked. But father said it wouldn't do no good. Too many mouths to feed anyway. Oh. So me down the trail of treats. That would save things. Of course it would. You and your father. When did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Clever. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't With my go fist. Because of the wolf king and his pack. What? No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge. With giant Ooh. eyes and great fangs and he was... Terribly, disgustedly horrific. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fearing. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Did a very pretty sword. <sighs> of course, I gotta follow the fucking child. Friggin' escort quests, dude. Wolves! Quick, hide! Let's do this. Anyone else? Yeah, let's do this. Or don't do fucking anything. She that sword. You can come out now. Dude, it's like escorting one of Jerry's kids every time. Come on, child, show me the way to your house. So I can be all creepy and shit. Look! There's something there. It's a boat in the middle of the forest? Wait here. Don't come any closer. What? No buts, stay here. I must see something. Why is there a boat in the middle of the forest? Anybody? Anybody? Mm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. It clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Uh, 
His chest is crushed. Hmm. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. That'd be a big bugger. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Yeah, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm. Kids doing the peepee -pee dance. Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. Belly. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. Hmm. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When do children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? I kill it. Question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. Hmm. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, bull's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. Where the shit am I going to get all that? You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Okay, let's go get some dog tallow. Hmm. Massacred. Something with immense claws. What do we got? Wolfsbane. 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 Where am I going to find fool's parsley? Right there, apparently. That was not fool's parsley. Oh, fool's parsley. Also not fool's parsley. What did fool's parsley look like? What did fool's parsley look like? Merry Foofle. Okay, so fool's parsley looks like that. It's Mary Foofle. You're my celebrity pairing. Now for a spot where I can build a fire, brew the oil in peace. What you doing? Greasing my blade. There. See just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. All right, let's follow Jerry's kid. Show me the way, child. I hear wolves. That? Wolves. Hide. Yar. Let's do this. Some of the monsters are just misunderstood. They're gone. You can come out. Do parents often send their children out to follow the sweets? Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Oh. They need to eat by the park. He's gonna try. My amulet is glowing. That means something bad is about to happen. Come on, kid, you're supposed to be leading me, not the other way around. Graceful. This way, through the cave. 
Show me on the doll where the werewolf touched you. But Foofle, if I don't make blood, then I will die. Ah! How does the Baron know all this? Grr, grr, grr. What? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide! Hey, buddy. Oh, that kid's doing an awesome job of fucking hiding. Eat a dick. Boy, you really give him a trumpet. Never seen anything like it. Go. You can come out now. Come on. Child's probably something evil. You're lucky we came this way. Someone far less fortunate in the forest. Lara, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yara and me. The little one. No details. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. No, he didn't. I, I know, yes, he did. But my lord, he's a powerful man. Be sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. That dude looks like he's on meth. Just like Fluffle. My pocket's making funny noises. Never, I'm at a loading screen, it'll be fine. He does have a pretty fancy bowl cut. You eat those beans. Doot 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 doot. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not my daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, uh, it might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. He's less jolly. Right, you nom those beans out of that hat. Very, thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten, and you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I. Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. What is he planning? He's planning to buff Foofle. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. The little girl who showed up here with Siri, what happened to her? Retka. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner, she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened Fair to enough. Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. You 
<laughs> nope. Sure. Gotta go find his wife and daughter. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. Or I know. Fine. All right. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You I'll have cut it out of your fat fucking ass. God! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare, I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, hmm. vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Can't start searching till I know what they look like. Tamara, my daughter, turned 19 in the spring. Slender lass, about yay tall, comes up to my shoulders. Beautiful hmm. eyes, green like her mother's. My wife, Anna, has two score winters behind her that she should never admit it. Dark hair, thick as tongue, hmm. keeps it tied up in a bun. You try to search for them? Sent them in out right away. They're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, I just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks if you're looking to hide someone. This is the place. Maybe they're <laughs> kidnapped. That's gonna be a big yes. The enemies. None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any who might have. I've been eating dirt long since. Hmm. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. See us all. Let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. I'm oh, okay with that. Mr. Daggerman. All right, Baron, let's do this shit. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on her walls. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wolf on the other side of the wall? <laughs> Pretty decent. What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Bed chamber. Tomorrow's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Wooden candlestick. Stem's broken. We got a broken stem. We got a window. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Let's see about this painting. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. Very homely. What's this? Huh. Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole, and what's on the other side. Hmm. Is it a bugger? It gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. A battle. What are you, Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Take so. What else we got? We got a claw marks. Hit with a heavy object.
What else we got with CSI Tamriel? Or Tamaria or whatever the fuck this place is called. Huh. Rest of the candlestick and the wine stains. <coughs> Somebody smashed a bottle from Tucson. Yeah, Avalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where to lead me. All right, let's follow the stench. Stinks of God in cops to me. We're gonna go downstairs. Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else though. Mm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? We won't find much else here. All right, let's go talk to this Baron. Then I have to use the bathroom. Don't poking around. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that. Well, the lads will speak. Lushies one and all. Give your men air of hmm. Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, hmm. I was drunk. He's not thing. very good at this whole parent thing. The Must be the booze. Maybe one of your men heard something. Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing, not a one of them. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? Hello. Hmm. Our troop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the pillow, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. I'll have a chat with this pillow. All right. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went back to Now he sees now ghosts sees and ghosts plows his goat. Plows his gut. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. My beard keeps getting bigger. I shall return momentarily, ladies and gentlemen. I need to use the bathroom. Oh, hi. I have returned. Ooh, I have stuff. Why, thank you, Mariposa. Oh, it's a foofle. I 
Minecraft a whole bunch of stuff. What are you? Can't do it here, though. I have an oil somewhere that they want me to use. Eh. Ooh, that's honey owl. But I don't care. There's supposed to be a way for me to change my hairstyle and junk. I just have yet to find it. So what do you guys think? Should I go do a different quest? Should I go do quests for my witch friend or should I go find this peller? Whatever the hell a peller is. with the quest. Gotcha. Let me assist you. Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been out for 20 years now. Mastered hmm. the craft in some respects if I do so to myself. Talk about fantasy tropes. English. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately. Snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure, it shouldn't be self cleaning. And how about it? Why is your arse after you take a shite in the That'd bushes? be awesome armor. Comfortable, strong, and light will do just fine. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordorok use on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pest our folk with these Skellige nonsense legends. Legends. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordorok folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. These legends mention where the forge might be. Yes. <laughs> North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look I still need to talk to you as a blacksmith. Take care now. Thunder? How may I assist you? If you must. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. I will be here until late tonight. Expensive are you? You are really expensive. Oh, that's not expensive. That is expensive. That's more money than I have. That I'm willing to part with. Better return to us. I'll be disappointed if you leave and stay left. Huh. What do you cost? I can afford that. Oops. 
Aber. Repair. What will it cost me to repair everything? A lot. Man, I'm so poor again. Okay, Vluvels. Oh yeah, you can get gone easy. Well, let's sell you some junk. Selling you junk. What are you? Your iron could potentially use that. Definitely gonna need that. Hmm. Of course, you won't buy any of that junk. What do you buy? You'll buy pure silver. Not for much. So you got 112. Yeah, I'll sell the griffin. Sell those too. Because I really need to repair. Let's see, 187. I do not have enough for that, so I will repair this. I will repair that. I will repair... What are you going to cost me? 41, 31. Ah, you're both fine. So oh well. Let's do some equipment. Wow, I could not believe that that made me look stupider. It's a 4% chance to stun. That's pretty solid. And my weight's down with an tolerable threshold. Excellence. Let's see. Let's go talk to the guy that's over here somewhere. See what I can sell him. QM. We've gathered ourselves quite the collection. Why let such nice things waste away? Show me what you got. God, that looks so terrible. What do you cost? You are expensive. Yep, definitely buying that. Don't care. Gwent could not matter any less to me. Ooh, I could buy a different crossbow. Why would I want that? Oh, let's see what I got for other stuff. Let me sell you a bunch of shit. Sell you these pelts. What's that? Special Forces Insignia. I'm going to keep that. Oh, hide. Man, I just have junk everywhere. Oh, I ran him out of cash. Do you have anything I actually cared about? Go 
lifts water bread. Not particularly. Hi, Fuvals. I go back to this guy over here and buy shit if I want to. So you do need to make some stuff. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Why are you mwahahaing? Should I be concerned? Are you are you medium? Medium. Light. Ooh, that is significantly sort of better. Yeah, I'll be making you when I hit level 8. Actually, I'll make you now. Crafting component, don't care. Ole, 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 ole. Got a little while before I can put that on. I'm missing components. Oh, I have to get rune stones, clearly. Repair. Repair all. So Alright, later. Let's go find this peller. Why is there a witcher without a silver friggin' sword? Just throw that thing open. To the pelicans! I know, I'm like 20 steps back. At least in my thought process. I think I'm a little off today. You need it to fight monsters, clearly. Duh. Let's go. Keep getting Geralt and Garrett mixed up. Who right. the fuck is you? Can we talk? Aye, as long as it's short and to the point, because I don't wag my tongue for joys. They call me Radko. I arrange the horse races here. You must have heard talk. <sighs> Want to try? Say the word. Don't sod off. Maybe later. Yeah, I'll go do horse races later. See how Roach holds up. Maybe you're silver. Are you feeling wicked mainstream? Oh, shit. Steel. Yep, steel. Right through the middle. Don't attack me, idiot. Give me all your stuff. I'm really no better than a bandit right now, am I? Killing folks, taking their stuff. Is anybody alive in here? No? No one's alive. I guess that just means I'm gonna loot shit. 
I'll take your candles and your pants. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I'll get changed back to Igni. Foofles! Catch me a Super Pikachu. Name it Bum Rat. Or the Shocker. But catch me a Pikachu. It'll go Pika Pika, bang bang. Pika, Pika. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got Dibs on a chat with him. A long one. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured Alkaris. Said something evil had made hmm. its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hot and pustules all over him. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Mm, well, all in all, yes or no? Fine. Let's hear it. A tea of mullein leaves for his belly, and cover his boils with mallow. A few days and he'll be good as new. Noted. But if it don't work, we'll be back. Okay. Move out, boys. He's allergic to tallow! Hmm. Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. Knock knock. Who's there? Hey, Goat up? fucker. Open up, it's safe now. Devils. Who do they bring? What seek you? I need your help. Whoa. A man. Nay, a wolf. Grey. Is he the pillar of whites? What the F is a Pachirisu? You were expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is ripe and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. He has a booze nose too. Recognize this. It's a doodle hickey. Spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper, for Anna to protect her. Against? You make the amulet. I. I can't look at that. After the way of his forefathers, over still watered in the light of a full moon. Proper as ambulance go. It protected well. She would never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the siege she was. Evil all around. Wanted to possess her. Old magic born of oblivion. From dark sources emerged. Old dark magic. source magic. Can you be more specific? It is not from that. It's like supernatural season 10. Touch. A small protective charm. Not a thing more a pella could ah. do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are. I, He's wearing a necklace of I, chicken feet. Pella don't know. That has to smell awful. But the spirits could know. The Pella will order. The spirits ask. Spirits. Great. Fine with me. As long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost. Lost. Hmm. Must be found. Princess. None better than princess for finding things. It's gonna be a pig. Princess. Which princess? Princess, my goat. She's fled. Oh God, it's the fucking goat. Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat, impossible. Fair enough. No goat. I'll take your word for it. Won't work. Will you 
help me if I bring the goat back. Princess, princess, where have you got to go? Can't believe I'm gonna go Fine. hunt down a goat. Get your goat. The bell. Okay. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries, raspberries too. Yeah, treacherous what? beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. What the shit? I have to equip this stupid friggin' bell. I have to sell some of these friggin' books. Where the hell is this bell? Oh, it's already attached. Okay. Find your fucking goat. Using my weird cat eyes and nose. This way, I think. That's very helpful, Geralt. Very helpful indeed. Shit. Another clue. Another clue. Such a raging clue. strawberries or something. Oh, of course. Alright, where am I going? Oh my god, this goat is retarded! I hear you, Mr. Goat. Is that you a bleeding? Nope, that is a wolf. Are you this way, you lame little bugger? There with you, Garrett. Geralt. This is fucking bullshit. This goat is stupid. Where the hell did you go? I swear to God. Come on, you stupid fucking goat. Defend this little fucker from bears, wolves, apparently wild strawberries and or raspberries. Goat, man. 
friggin' goat. Happy for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The white wolf helped the Pella. And so the Pella shall help him. Blood. You touched in the head. A living being. <sighs> Fine. Be right back. Found a rat. Will this do? Sand, goat's milk, and a rat. Hi, Fufu. I'm watching this crazy old vlogger. That was not helpful. What did you feed them to? Aaron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Oh. Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Right, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need Excellent. not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. Did the Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. I, uh, killed the bear, and chased the goat. You must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind, but Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. to the child in a grave throne without rite or ceremony it awoke now it wanders it seeks vengeance a botchling what white wolf wise wolf catch the botchling the botchling will help lead the wolf to the loved ones botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses they don't have what being cursed and witches lift curses if the white wolf can't lift it he should bring me its blood Blood will always find kindred blood. Oh my god. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself though. How do I do need this? to bury it under the threshold? And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, huh. elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor. And the spirit shall aid you. Ask and it will answer. Seek and it will show you the way. Why do you want hmm. its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year. But we'll find a way for the sun. Hmm. I hear you right. You mentioned forefathers' eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. 
folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefathers Eve must be before. I want to know what Forefathers like Eve, Eve is. To lead them through the dark, call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Awesome. Bestiary. Let's look at a botchling. Botchling. Ugly, saying shit's not particularly tasty. <laughs> saying a botching is ugly is like saying shit's not tasty. Can't say it's live, but doesn't exactly convey the whole truth. Botchlings are perhaps the most repulsive creature which will ever have the displeasure of meeting. Born of dead, unwanted babies, discarded without a proper burial. Their appearance is like that of a partially decayed fetus. Their unformed flesh twisted with hate, fear, and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women driven by a mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. A botchling will emerge from its lair at night to lurk by the bedside of an expectant mother, draining her strength and that of the unborn progeny as she sleeps. A woman thus beleaguered first suffers from troubling dreams, and then fever, delirium, and general weakening of the flesh. After a few such nights, she is enfeebled and unable to defend herself. As it is, then the botchling attacks directly, sinking its long, sharp fangs into her body and drinking her blood until the mother and fetus perish together. A botchling stands around a foot and a half in height, but when threatened and if gorged with bloods, it can change form. At such time, it grows into a deformed man, hunched over and striding. Ape-like on its forearm, stronger and fiercer than... After this alteration, it hurls itself into direct physical combat, gnashing at its opponent or attacking with sharp claws. A botchling's curse be lifted by transforming it into a lubberkin, a guardian spirit of, of the hearth that watches over the family. It never knew in the house it could never call home. What the fuck? I received experience points. Fufu, give me experience. Jeez, so many guards all over the place. What the fuck? There's no guard. Hi, look, there's a village over here. Let's go check out this village. Should I deal with this botchling, guys? But, but, but. I need XP's. What do you got, merchant? Buy in or just peruse him. Show me what you've got on offer. Ooh, map. I like maps. So long. Boy. Ah, what the hell, Jack? It's all good. I'm going to be here. I'm going to take a break in probably about 15, 20 minutes and get some food. After I talk to the Baroness. Why is there a fucking fire? What the fuck? Why are you getting a shroomish? You shouldn't be eating random shrooms. Baron's house is burning. Oswin, where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? 
believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Well, first, I'm gonna make looting. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh man, I like dying here. What the fuck am I gonna do here? Seriously, what the fuck am I gonna do here? Oh, I'm gonna die in here. Yep, gonna die in here. Pardon me. Yep, died in there. Load that most recent save. Now I know what to do. I got this shit. This is your fault, Mrs. Fluful. This is your fault, Snowy Fooful. This is your fault, Snowy Fooful. And that was enough. screens all right let's try this again foo 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 Are you a badger, 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 badger? Run it, Geralt. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. With... See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure I'm in the right things. TK Blast. Climb this little bugger. Lots of smoke. Gotta hurry. Don't be an idiot. Open the chest. Collect everything.
See if I can pop this mofo open. Firefighter Geralt. Okay. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? Ooh. What are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ooh. Keep forgetting that I could perfect block. We need to talk. Punchy punch. Just kick the shit out of some kind of weird fucking royalty. Darn a sock. Years we've known each other. She seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, something would hurt. You beat her yeah. for that, for criticizing you. Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Hmm. Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the, had the room of the plugs. She'd ride the horses, hooked with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage. For only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the hmm. case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. You knew they'd run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Yep. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Doesn't much matter now. I know how to find them. How? I know about the baby. Anna and I. It wasn't as it seemed. Thieves. I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. Why does everybody lie to me? I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. Because you're a wanker. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Do you think I should continue to beat him? Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left 
with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. Lucky. Backwards onto the table. Spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. That happens if you get smacked in the head. When I came to, I was alone. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of hmm. her always calmed me. What happened next? Next. Come on, wife beater. Totally got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. I thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. Be a hell of a nightmare. Chamber, but Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, tiny thing, defenseless, on bloody sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Why are you so violent today, Fufu? Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodom. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oh. oak. <laughs> that is an <laughs> awesome size comparison. We don't it's a rabbit's yet. prick next to a yeah, great oak. War could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that. Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Sad face. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. Sometimes. Mutations worked then. But here's huh. the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into fucking what? <laughs> creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of... A uh, lubberkin. A, a guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her. And I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubricant, they can bury us in it. And either way. Huh. <laughs> the sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. 
Get word to the common folk. Let us stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. Makes sense. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Take a shovel, not for digging, but to donk a motherfucker in the face. Foofle! Shit's about to get real. Really real. A few hours later. A bit further. Follow me. Let's do this Baron Von Ballenstein. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. I'm not gonna kill him. I might punch him in the face a couple times though. Right now I need him as backup. Oh, that's spot. convenient. It's very convenient. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? By plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The At least you know. Up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. Look. Oh goodness, that thing is ugly. It's umbilical cords around its leg and its neck. You're fucking kid. Deal with it, asshole. It's grody. Really grody. Back to the fortress. Come on. As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. Just walk it. Just walk it. Be chill, little dude. Be chill. No need to get feisty. We cool. We cool. We cool. Shh. Fufu, don't distress it. Are you fucking shitting me? More raids. Fan fucking castle. Anyone else? Anyone? Quiet now. Good God. That's a rough fucking morning. What do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. The tales are true. By tomorrow, it'll be a level game. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. So not only do you get a cool fucking pal, you get to rectify your dead child from your assholishness. All right, race. Next, let's go. Let's 
How about you let me do this fucking thing? Jesus friggin' touch hole. Chill out, you little bastard. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's a oh, good go. What would honor of nine do? Blackguard. Do you want to hold it on your head? Let it touch your hair. Eat your face. What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of earth and sky. By the powers of earth and sky. And wind By and water. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came. But who I did not embrace. Forgive me. You who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. Hug the baby. You killed it. Good. Again, now bury the body. That is a wooden shovel. Thought they were in the Iron Age of Minecraft. We wait. In one day's time, Daya should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. Why are you wait all sad? You. Out of the question. But that's my child. The guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But no buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. It's turning into something else. Yourself stupid again. Let's sit and wait. So calm. By blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Hey, Lead look. Me to those bound to you by blood. Now it's an ugly spectre thingy. Rock, Lebergen. Did nobody else see the freaky little ghost child? It is a baby. Have you watched Todd in the Book of Pure Evil yet? It's a baby, oh baby. Show me the way, oh baby. You definitely should. It's one, hilarious, and two, fantastic. 
I'm not even dealing with this. Oh, fuck off, Gunner. Right? Seriously. Leave me alone. I'm chasing a lubricant here. Where are we going to go? We are going to go... Here? Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. What do we got? We got horseshoes. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. What the fuck is a pitch burner? Oh, that's... Clothing. They changed in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. All right, Lubberkin. Continue. Wants to show me something more. Show me the way. Show me a bit of salad. The shit is that? And Durga? Fine, I'll fucking kill you. Alright, sorry about that, Lubricant. We just have all sorts of assholes dealing with to deal with. Freaky fucking dead baby. So would this be an undead baby or would this be a re-undead undead baby? I'm following a dead ghost baby. Sorry, a re-dead fucking like ghost zombie baby thing. I don't know what exactly the time is. Bye! Working on it, Geralt. Come on. Seriously! Cut the shit! How many more of these fuckers do I have to kill? Lubricant, let's continue. Good thing it doesn't end here. Gotta deal with the freaky dead baby dead. So, Mary. This thing was originally a dead baby that I turned into another form of dead baby. Does that make it, like, super undead? You love the term Lubberkin. But, like, what term do we actively use for this little bugger? A Davy? I'm calling it a Davy. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Riri dead? Just walk in. Hi. Who's that? Another room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. 
Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Quiet, boy. Where'd the girl go? Her son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir. But you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another time. Though anywhere is better than the crow's perch with a barrel. Hmm. Why? Because of... Because he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for the stop it. Cause he's a fat fuck. Where'd the girl go? Her son. I'm sorry, because of our though. Why? What happened to Tamara's mother? What happened to the mommy? For like this. I was awake in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark. Couldn't see past two L's in front of me. Moon had arisen high. Still hadn't come. Began to fear some demon. Demon. But finally, they came forth, and we set, and we off, set towards off towards the river. the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought to tear my head off. And those damned birds, swarms of them coursing over the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna huh. screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms, but then. Fire marks on her hands. Is she a werewolf now? What marks? Tell me about the marks. Well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. That is sting. Like a cattle brand. I no, these was a black scars scabbed over. These hot. Ooh, stingy. Bird with raw fire. Fine. What happened next? Grew even dark. Okay, Fufu. Seems someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods. Big as a horns, two burning coal fries. Sounds like something I'm gonna need to fucking deal with. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horse so rough one. and Miss Tamara has got spooked and tore off willy nilly. For the only reason we escaped, the miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that, old Miss Tamara. Huh. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted him, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared Oof. to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We need to repay good with good. Who stands by idly? As evil as if married a wise woman. There's a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Ooh, don't know which way I want to go with this. Oh, hi, Lubbergan. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dan. Go in peace. All right. I shall be right back myself. I need to find some dinner. I'm getting really, really hungry and really, really thirsty. Shall we turn?